What if I told you that your friendly chat GPT isn't so friendly, can turn against you and empty your pockets? Yeah, you heard it right. We're diving deep into the dark side of AI today. Stay tuned to uncover shocking scenarios of AI misuse, ranging from false kidnappings to stock market manipulations, sexual harassment, and even more alarming instances. But beware, the fourth scenario will leave you astounded and itching for more. So buckle up, we're about to pull back the curtain on the hidden perils of our digital age. Scammers who used artificial intelligence to clone her daughter's voice. In June 2023, a young mother of two teenagers became a victim of a kidnapping scam. The woman, DeStefano, had just pulled up outside the dance studio in Scottsdale near Phoenix around 4.55 p.m. when a call came on that fateful day from someone who claimed to have her daughter. All she could hear was the voice of her daughter crying, but the man wouldn't let her talk to her daughter. The woman ran to the dance studio, shaking, screaming for help like someone losing her mind. Was it really her daughter's voice? A mother knows her child. Even when the child cries across the building, she feels it and knows it's hers. So yes, it was her daughter's voice. After a chaotic, rapid-fire series of events that included a $1 million ransom demand, a 911 call, and a frantic effort to reach Brianna, the allegedly kidnapped daughter, the kidnapping was exposed as a scam. The confused young lady called back to her mother that she didn't understand why there was so much commotion and that everything was fine. So. What really happened? The scammers cloned her daughter's voice in the fake kidnapping call. Pretty insane, if you ask me. The woman said she would never forget those four minutes of terror and confusion and the eerie sound of that familiar voice. DeStefano was not the only victim of these fake virtual kidnappers. They target people all around the country, using altered audio of loved ones' voices to frighten them and demand money. According to Siobhan Johnson, a special agent and FBI spokesperson in Chicago, Americans lost $2.6 billion in imposter scams within the last 12 months. Imposter scams have been around for years, but the sudden surge of AI tools took it to another level. $2.6 billion, what a huge amount of money. With the help of AI software, voice cloning can be done for as little as $5 a month, making it easily accessible to anyone. All they need is a short audio clip of your family member's voice, which they could get from content posted online. A Canadian couple fell victim to a similar AI voice scam and lost 21,000 Canadian dollars, equivalent to 15,500 US dollars. Another example that you've probably heard of already happened in April 2023. An AI-generated photo of a Pentagon explosion was circulating fast across the internet. Instantly, the S&P 500 dropped by approximately 0.3%, leading to a massive loss for many investors. Though the index quickly rebounded as news emerged that the image was a hoax, the question is, how could an entire market trend worth millions of dollars fall prey to a deep fake? I myself lost money that day too. Well, these examples are just the tip of the iceberg. ChatGPT did worse. ChatGPT made up some fake Guardian articles. Surprised is an understatement. Everyone, including the organization staff, was flabbergasted. How did it happen? A researcher came across a mention of a Guardian article written by a specific journalist on a particular subject a few years ago, and he decided to get a copy of this important article. However, he couldn't find the piece on the Guardian website or any other search. Was the headline changed since its release? Did the editors intentionally remove it from the website? Out of curiosity, the researcher reached out to a Guardian reporter. Although the reporter couldn't recall writing that specific piece, the headline sounded familiar to the organization. Concerned about what the problem could be, the reporter asked colleagues to search their systems to find it. Despite their meticulous records of all content, especially deletions or legal matters, they found no evidence of its existence. Why? Because it was never written. Fortunately, the researcher informed the editors that he used ChatGPT for his research, and in response to his questions about articles on this subject, the AI simply fabricated some and falsely cited Guardian as its source. Can you imagine? Perhaps all the articles in your favorite newspaper or blog are all fake and written by ChatGPT. Come to think of it, if the researcher hadn't contacted the organization to inquire further, he would have gone ahead and published his work with false information. But that wasn't the case for a lazy New York lawyer currently facing a court hearing of his own after his filing was found to reference legal cases that did not exist. This next case will shock you. 
The lawyer admitted to having used ChatGPT for legal research and told the court he was, quote, unaware that its content could be false. The lawyer who presented the fake content was defending a case that involved a man who was suing an airline over a personal injury claim. To support their argument, the man's legal team submitted a brief that referenced several previous court cases as precedent for why the case should proceed. However, the lawyers representing the airline later informed the judge that they could not locate some of the cases mentioned in the brief. The judge, Judge Castell, later found out that six of the submitted cases were invalid with fabricated bogus quotes and references. It's so sad that despite having over 30 years of experience as an attorney, Stephen A. Schwartz and his team would mess up by using ChatGPT to search for analogous cases. There goes your career. ChatGPT is a very nice tool and cool tool, but if you look at this result, it can also be of really bad influence. When we found out about this case, we thought that would be the worst case scenario. Unfortunately, we were wrong. The next scenario I'm about to share with you will make you go crazy. But before that, we wanna make something clear. AI is no one's friend, as you can see in these scenarios. We actually are. So why not subscribe to your friend's channel? We're helping you become the masters of AI after all. Subscribe. Could you believe ChatGPT invented a sexual harassment scandal and named a real law prof as the accused? To make matters worse, it even referenced a fabricated article from the Washington Post as evidence. Last week, the esteemed law professor Jonathan Turley received an alarming email. As part of a research study, a fellow lawyer in California had asked ChatGPT to generate a list of legal scholars who had sexually harassed someone. Turley's name was on the list. The chatbot, created by OpenAI, said Turley had made sexually suggestive comments and attempted to touch a student while on a class trip to Alaska, citing an article from the Washington Post in March 2018 as the source. However, it was found that no such article existed, and there had never actually been a class trip to Alaska, and Turley said he'd never been accused of harassing a student. Now, tell me, what happens when an AI bot lies about real humans? It pops up interactions that dehumanize us, misinformation that misleads us, coupled with algorithms that manipulate us. Recently, AI chatbots have gained significant popularity, with industry leaders like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft paving the way. Unfortunately, as with any emerging technology, thieves have found ways to exploit it for their malicious purposes. To be more specific, fake AI chatbot apps have become the new trend, designed to deceive and defraud unsuspecting consumers. Recent studies conducted by the cybersecurity firm Sophos revealed that scammers are actively creating counterfeit apps that falsely advertise capabilities like OpenAI's ChatGPT. These fraudulent applications can be found all over app stores, tempting users into downloading them. Although most of these apps start first as free, access to essential features is restricted unless users subscribe to a premium plan, which can cost as much as $70 a month. A notable example is ChatGBT, a fraudulent software that claims to be a substitute for ChatGPT. I've got no idea of how we're going to get out of this mess. AI has become increasingly capable of producing deceptive content, including fake websites, social media accounts, and other online materials. AI has the potential to make it harder for authorities to detect and apprehend cyber criminals by producing deceptive images containing misleading data that will be difficult for anyone to recognize as fraudulent. We now have many fake companies online with fake staff and mouth-watering job offers. Be careful not to fall victim. So now you know how AI can be used to steal your money. Let us show you how AI can destroy our world by clicking on the video on the right. You will immediately build a bunker to hide from the upcoming apocalypse.